What's up everybody? Welcome to Arts for Data. In this video, we delve into the captivating world of line and area chart, where trends come to life and patterns unfold before your eyes. Join us as we unlock the power of data visualization, revealing the stories hidden within your data. Get ready to evaluate your analysis to new weight with the mesmerizing beauty of line and area chart. Let's go. Visual Gallery of Power BI uh, contain uh, six uh, line and area chart. We look together how it look like and when we can use it. In general, line chart we use uh, when we want tracking a trend over a time, comparing multiple data set or variable over time, identifying patterns, anomalies, and uh, unusual events in the data. Uh, we can use it as a visualizing uh, continuous or sequential data for forecasting future trends based on historical data we can use a line chart but uh, what type of a data suitable for line chart time series data like the sales figures website traffic stock prices continuous data with a smoothing changing like uh, population growth, inflation uh, rates, for sequential data with a clear order like uh, project timeline, comparison uh, of multiple related data set like uh, revenue of a different product line, here, the simple, simple one is sales due months how it look like. Area chart showing the cumulative uh, revenue generated by different product category over the months. What is an area chart? An area chart is a type of data visualization that display a quantitative data graphically. Is based on the line chart like that one, but the area between the line and the axis is filled with a color or shading. Area charts are usually to represent accumulated uh, total or percentage over time. Uh, they allow the comparison multiple data sets by uh, stacking the area on the top of each other. As you may see, bike rack, bike stand, and uh, what others uh, product of uh, uh, that uh, data set we, we can see. When you use a uh, area chart, to show trend and change in the value over time, to visualize the composition and relative contribution of a different part of as a whole, uh, to compare performance or share of the multiple related attribute. A stack area chart is typically used uh, when you want to visualize how different components contribute to a total over the time. Composition over the time means that uh, you can see how the each territory uh, has affected on the whole uh, about the sales revenue uh, during the several months. Also, we can tracking a cumulative total. They allow you to see the total value at each point of the X axis uh, and how each component contribution to the total. Even we can compare contribution 
each component is represented as a layer of the stack on the top to the other one. So make it easy to see how they add up the total. Also, we can highlight in trends and pattern with that visualized data as a stacked layer. You can easily identify change in the distribution of value over the time. Line and stack column chart. Use when you want to visualize trend over time while also comparing the contribution of a different category to a total. Here we have a sales of the female and male uh, and the trend of the cost. Another example, tracking a monthly sales revenue over the years with each stack column representing the sales revenue for different product, different territory, and the line showing the total sales revenue, total cost. The other one, the line and clusters column chart. Use when you want to compare trends over the time for multiple categories. It's not a stack by the multiple. We can have a same category, but uh, we see the, the separate column for each of the category uh, and uh, comparing with the trend, uh, comparing with here is cost, uh, we can compare with the sales performance. A ribbon chart, also known as a meco chart. Uh, this type is uh, like a stack uh, chart uh, where the wide of each segment represent of the proportion of the whole of the each category. Here is a territory. Uh, it's typically used to visualize categorical data and compare the distribution of value across multiple categories. If you want to know when uh, we can use it, uh, normally when comparing categorical data, highlighting proportion, uh, ribbon chart effectively highlighting proportion of the each category by representing them as a segment of the variety with. This allow that uh, easily we understand Australia uh, what is the proportion? What about the Germany? What uh, about the others? Highlighting proportion. Ribbon chart effectively highlight uh, proportion within each category by representing them as a segment of variety widths. The widths are not the same, it's different. Uh, and of course, uh, visualize uh, during the time, over the time. And uh, if you want to understand what is the advantage of using this one against a stack uh, area chart, clarity uh, is preparation. Uh, here, the clarity of preparation of the each territory was uh, better compared with the stack area chart. Uh, and uh, effective comparison, uh, ribbon chart uh, enable affecting comparison between category by visualizing, aligning them as side by side. The proportion completely clear that compact visualization. Uh, that visual can display a large amount of categorical data in a compact space, making them efficient for conveying a lot of information without overwhelming the viewer. Here, as you can see, a lot of the line uh, is not super clear. As we conclude the exploration uh, of area line chart, uh, remember the power of this visualization holding on covering insights from your data. Whether tracking trends over the time, comparing data series, or highlighting patterns in your data set, 
Area Online Child provide a visually engaging means to understand your information. Stay tuned with the Artful Theta channel for the next video about the other visualization. Until then, keep visualizing, keep exploring, and keep transforming your data into actionable knowledge. Bye for now.